Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Salazar with Get Visible Marketing. And in this training, I'm gonna walk you through how to create an editable PDF. So if you're creating a workbook or something you want people to be able to type directly onto your PDF, this is how you're gonna do it. So the first thing I did is I came over and I'm in Canva, as you can tell here. Um, if you're not familiar with this site, it's amazing. So here is my lead magnet so far that I have, or my document. I put these boxes here to show where I want the specific text to go. And so you can put a background behind this if you want it to be you know, a different color. I just put mine in a box, but again, you can do whatever you want. So I have quite a few of them. This is a workbook. I want people to type in it. So in Canva, I downloaded it here. I chose the PDF standard, which I've already done this. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to PDF Escape. So you're gonna see this right here, pdfescape.com. This is a free software that's gonna allow you to make your documents, your PDFs, so people can write directly on them versus printing them and writing on it. So we're gonna go right here to Browse. I'm gonna find my file here and upload it. Okay, now here it is. I'm just gonna scroll through because page one didn't have anything. So here's page two. So next you're gonna go to this form field right here. I'm gonna click this. Now there's two versions of editable text that PDF Escape gives you. One, it says text, and the other one says text paragraph. And so for this, because I want them to be able to press enter and go to another line, I'm gonna do text paragraph. If you just do text, it's gonna only let them write one long continuous sentence. They can't ever press enter. You know, they can't make kind of bullet point type stuff. So I'm gonna specify text paragraph right off the bat so that every single one of these that I fill in will be the same. So I'm gonna click select. And the next thing you're just gonna click and fill. So I'm just dragging it across the area. You see it turns green. I just, I literally like, all I did was re-clicked and it's already ready to go. So it knows that this is what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this very first page. There's three of them. The next thing you're gonna do is come over here to the save button and then you're gonna press the button right below it, save and download. Okay, so I'm gonna open it up so that I can show you what it did. Okay, so now you're gonna see that it's blue and then when you type in it, and then I'm gonna, you know, I can I can just keep pressing enter, but you wanna, you don't wanna type that in there. Like I always test it, but you don't wanna leave it there because when you save it, then it'll stay in your save folder and other people will see it. But you'll see here, it shows up as blue so that the people who are looking at your PDF will be able to tell, oh, this is something I can type directly on. And then once they click on it, they can start to type.